am I doing today? What is this floating around in front of my face? I even pushed it. Hi everyone, welcome back to What's Going On. I hope everybody who is celebrating had a very lovely Christmas. Mine was great, it was nice and quiet, and I just, it was perfect. Today I'm going to be making a New Year's Eve, New Year's Day birthday dress. I actually already showed the fabric before in my autumn fabric haul. It was in the thumbnail, so you know that I loved the fabric. My original plan for it was to make some sort of bib pinafore, but I'm hoping there's enough fabric that I can make something a little bit more dressy. The fabric was thrifted, it was about $5. $5.99. I don't know how much there is. I should start measuring my fabric, but I thrifted this pattern a while back and I absolutely love the dress. It's not something I normally wear. It's a different waist. It's a different silhouette than something I'm used to, but I really like the look of the dress. So I'm hoping it's all going to work out. The pattern I'm using is Vogue 8108. I love the look of the dress. It's kind of vintagey. I like the high kind of empire waistline with the ruching around the bust and obviously I love a good bow. Dress I'm going to be doing is dress D. I would absolutely love to do dress E, but I don't think I'm going to get enough fabric for the sleeves. So I'm just going to aim for a short sleeve dress and hopefully it all works out. Don't have that much time before New Year's, so I'm going to make sure I give myself a lot of time. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you guys the fabric again and then I'm gonna start cutting. I was not expecting to have the exact amount. I thought I was going to be a little short and I was planning on doing the necktie with maybe like a lining or a different material because I honestly, when I was lying it out, I'm like, I'm not gonna have enough. I had exactly enough. My scrap pile, that's it. And they're all just tiny pieces. Like I wouldn't even have enough to cut if I needed any more interfacing. <sighs> Yikes. With right sides together, pin the front facing to the bodice, matching centers, small circles, centers. Well, that's pretty freaking centered if you ask me. Stitch along stitching lines. Really Holy mackerel. <laughs> To pin my collar to the top. I don't know why, but I thought this folded edge was actually the top of the collar. I don't know. I think I'm just a little tired. So you pin the top right sides together in the corner all the way around like this. So then this will fold like that and you'll have your nice collar, apparently. <laughs> You're not 
serious. You're not giving this dress to the young Exhale. This is the best looking outfit you own. You're right. I still look damn good in this thing. Day two. So I'm really liking the look of it so far. I think it looks so cute. I really like the front bow detail that's going to happen. Obviously, I haven't made it a bow yet, but it's in really nice. The back, it's not really much to show. It just has the two darts and then this obviously is where the zipper goes. I don't really own anything that has like an empire waist like this with the, you know, gathered under bust and it kind of goes up a bit higher. So I'm really excited to see what the silhouette will actually look like on me. I'm hoping it turns out nice because again, I love the color and I love the fabric. So I hope it looks nice. The next step is the sleeves, which normally I thought go on later, but this doesn't really matter. I really thought I was going to be starting off with the skirt and the skirt pleating, but I guess I'm going to be doing sleeves first. I did realize last night that I don't have a zipper to match this dress. I thought I bought one, but I didn't. So all I have is white. I can't even find a black invisible slipper. slipper. I can't even find a black invisible zipper. I can also just put a zipper in and then take it off eventually whenever I do get a maroon colored zipper. I can't believe I forgot about that. And we're in lockdown now, so it's not essential, so I can't really just go and buy one. It's just in the back, right? So I'm gonna start with serging my sleeves and then get pleating. sleeves it's you and me and I didn't even forget to put two together this time all right oh crap what's the back okay so I need to flip this inside <laughs> okay so this one still will go on this one even if it's inside trust yourself I should probably surge this before I do the sleeves Moving around a lot up there. What are you doing? Oh. Nice of you to ah, join me. Watch the cup. Hello. Am I putting this away and giving you puppy time? Is it puppy time? Is it puppy time? Mm. And I'm back. like to stand at a table or something and do this. I'm actually really happy with it. I think it looks so cute all together. Again, I really wish it was a long sleeve, but I didn't have enough material, so I have to make do with just the short. Now I'm on to the pleats. So it says, yada, yada, yada here, stitch ending at lower edge circles as shown. But like, what is shown? Like stopping at the circles? I don't get it. And it says the exact same thing for the back. Hello. Only three more to go. I'm wearing the coolest socks ever. It's an octopus reading a book. So 
So I'm an idiot. I don't know why I'm trying to think of like secret coding or something. It just means stitch ending at lower, like ending there. That's, that's, that's all it means. It doesn't mean there's a specific way to end it. It literally just means end it there. dress. I think it's actually my favorite dress I've made to date. I didn't think it was going to top the plaid Queen's Gambit dress, but I freaking love it. I love the fabric. I like that it's a bit thicker, but not. I like the texture of the fabric. The bow turned out so cute. I love the neckline. I like the little keyhole. The waistline actually is very flattering. This dress is very flattering and the pleating just makes it look so pretty. The dress came together pretty easily. I didn't really run into that much difficulty. I kind of feel bad about pulling apart this dress because I'm so proud of it and I love it so much, but it's what I do. So the other thing that I did that I didn't notice until basically now was one of the sleeves is shorter than the other. And it's not noticeable. And like, I doubt someone's going to be like, Hey, one of your sleeves is a quarter of an inch longer than the other. I don't think that's ever going to happen, but now that I've seen it, it's all I see. But again, it's really not that big of a deal. I'm fine with it. It's, they're just, they're cute. I really do wish that it was long sleeves. I think that would have been really nice on the dress. So I'm definitely going to be using this pattern again so I can have a kind of a billowy sleeve one with this look. With the sleeve length, I still think it looks really cute. Again, if I would have had more fabric, even if I could have just made it wider so they're more of a bell sleeve, I think that would have looked nicer than just the straight sleeve, but I only had enough fabric and I had to use what I worked with. Working with thrifted fabric, I'm used to not having a lot of scrap, but this was even less than I normally have, which is crazy. So this isn't really a big deal. It's just something in my mind. I felt the dress came together really nice and I know it wasn't overly complicated and it was pretty straightforward, but because there was more pieces and the collars a little bit more work, I thought it was maybe an intermediate pattern, but it's straight up beginner. Like it says right on it, very easy. Which again, it's not a big deal, but I guess I just was like, oh, I must be getting better. And then, you know, now it's apparently a beginner dress, so. And then of course I ran into that run-in of thinking that what the pattern is saying is more complicated than it actually is. I don't know why my brain does that. It's done it to me 
almost on every pattern, so I guess I should just get used to it. But I think I just need to start reading the pattern literally and not thinking that it's more complicated than my sewing level. It's so stupid. <laughs> ah, fun times. Super fun. Obviously, I still have some work to do on it because I do need to wait until we're out of lockdown so I can go and get an actual zipper the same color as the dress. If it was maybe like a gold zipper or a bronze zipper or something like that that was like meant to be a fashion statement, it would be fine. But to me, like the white with the red, it's just, it's not the look I'm going for. So I didn't actually finish the collar at the top of the neck either, just because I didn't want to have to undo it all, rip it apart just to redo it. So I just left the very top of the dress still open. And once I get that zipper, I'm going to put it in and I'll actually finish the top of the dress with the clasp and all of that. I also want to take a minute of appreciation for the unsung hero, my serger. Take a look. Actually, it deserves a full screen. Take a look of how clean the inside of this dress looks. It's so beautiful. I normally, actually, I've never shown the inside of my work because normally my serger thread isn't the same color. So this is the first time I actually had matching serger thread to the dress. And it just looks so well done inside. It looks so clean and it looks like something that you could have just bought from a store. I love my serger. Oh my gosh. I'm not saying you need a serger, but man, it saves a lot of time and it makes things look so much nicer inside. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody has a very happy New Year's and we're safe and healthy and all of this is over this year. Because let's be realistic, it's not going to be over tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and I hope you subscribe. I will see you all next week and I'm going to be showing you some of my recent thrift finds. Oh, don't put drool on my shoulder. That's never fun. Oh, big lean. Oh, no drool. Thank you. It's probably because it's on the couch cushion upstairs. I don't really know what to say. Screwed up on that one too. Great. At least my screw-ups are consistent. Get off the pattern pieces. How can I train you? You don't even know where you're walking half the time, so it doesn't really matter. Look at this fluffy tail. Majestic tail. Happy New Year.